So 5.5, we're going to look at elastic collisions. Now, we have looked at this over and over again in this chapter. And so, I mean, we, can al we already know all of this already. We already know all of this already. Okay. So what's the first thing? Is that the initial relative speed is the same as the final relative speed in an elastic collision. Okay. So that means V2 minus V1, the magnitude of V2 minus V1 initial is equal to the magnitude of V2 minus V1 final. The relative speeds are the same in an elastic collision. And in terms of velocities, we know that V2 minus V1 initial is the negative of V2 minus V1 final. And why is this? It's because the directions change. So even though they're the same magnitude, we know that the, the relative velocity um, final is the opposite direction of the relative velocity initial. Okay, the point is this. In any elastic collision, we've got two tools. Remember, we've got tools. What is the first tool always in any collision? It's this, conservation of momentum for an isolated system. Conservation of momentum. For any collision, we've got the conservation of momentum if it's an isolated system. And then if it's an elastic collision, this is the other tool that we have is that the relative speeds are the same. So equation 5.4 and 5.5 allow us to determine the final velocities of objects given their initial velocities. So let's have a look at this example. Object cart 1, cart 2, velocity. We know it's velocity and it's inertia, initial. We know it's initial, this cart's initial velocity and its inertia. They collide. Um, what are the cart's velocities after they collide elastically? Again, what are our tools? Conservation of momentum. And number two, the velocities, the vel velocities or the, uh, the, yeah, the relative velocities or the relative speeds are the same before and after. Okay, so we've got equation 5.4, which is just is just saying the relative speeds before and after are the same. Okay, uh, and then we've got the conservation of momentum. So there are our two tools. We use these tools. Uh, I'm not going to go through the details. You can do this. I'm trying to give you the big picture. And so we can solve for v1 final here and we can solve for V2 final there. Okay. Then, if you go and look at the relative speeds, you'll see before, the final one is 0.25, and the initial relative speed is 0.25, which means, indeed, we have an elastic collision. Okay. See you in the next one.